What is down, everybody? It is your main course little pancake. Back with another video today. Ah, it's been a rough day today. I do have a sweet tart candy, if you all. So that makes my day a little bit better. But, so, as you know, I'm, I got a series going about survival island stuff. Pretty fun series. Pretty pretty fun game, you know. I've tried to record a video of that. Three. Three times a day. I haven't been able to do it. It is so aggravating. It makes me so mad. First video. First attempt. 30 minutes of recording. Forgot to press record. Uh-huh. Yep. Forgot to press record. Second attempt. 30 more minutes. We recorded 10 minutes of the video. I'm like, what the heck? Third attempt. It recorded one minute of video. I spent an hour and a half of my time today. Or I should be doing anything. I should be spending my time reading a book for English that I need to finish today. But, you know, you know how it is. But, so I didn't really know what to do. I don't know, it was messing up. I said, I'm just going to sit here and make a video. Just talk to y'all. I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. Um, I really don't know. Um, started behind the wheel yesterday. So, your boy is going to be driving all over the place soon. Um, but yeah, I got to go to that for seven days. And an hour a day, every day for seven days. So, should be, I think I'll be fine. My instructor's pretty cool. He said, he used to be a firefighter for in New York City. And he also said that he was an amateur stand-up comedian. So, you know, not too, not too sure what he means by that. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all that's going on for me. Um, nothing's really happened. I just, I'm just stressed out from, um, uh, school. So that makes every little thing, every little inconvenience that much worse. Oh, gosh. But, um, it's just... It's hard, you know. And I'm, I don't have a hard life at all, you know. But I get stressed out about things. Like I have sort of anxiety. Like I don't want to say I have anxiety because, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I do or not. Honestly, you know. Um, you know, I don't know. Cause like if I say I have anxiety. And I don't, then I would feel like crap, you know? Because there's someone out there so much worse than me with anxiety. Well, I know there is. I'm not, like, horrible. But I get really nervous. Like, it doesn't stop me from doing anything. But I get really nervous about it, which... I mean, I don't think I have anxiety. I just... I'm just getting nervous. But, um... And I get stressed out so easily. With school. You know, and my problem is I get stressed out about something, but still procrastinate on it. It just keeps stressing me out more and more. And I've tried to work on that. I think I'm getting a little better. But, like, I have something to do in a week that I'd be stressed about. I'd be like, oh, gosh, I got to write this paper. It's got to be four pages long in a week. As I just keep on putting it off and the stress keep building until the day it's due. I start it and I'm like super stressed out. And I gotta stop doing that. 
But, um, I mean, that's pretty much all that I've got going on. I want to make this video a little longer. I want to make it entertaining. So, I guess I can tell a story of something. I used to show animals at the county fair. I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a hick. A little bit of a redneck. A little bit of, you know. Um, I mean, I'm not like a huge redneck, but I don't associate myself with rednecks at least. But I live in the country. I live in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, so we used to show lambs. I'm not doing it anymore because I, I never, I hate, I hate like showing animals it's just so i just i don't understand how they judge it so like i lose and i'm like or like i do it and i'm like ah, i did yes let's go i'm gonna win this for sure and i get last place i'm like what the f i just didn't understand it so it, i i didn't like it because i didn't understand why i was losing all the time i never got like i'm pretty sure i lost every year but i i you got to sell them that's the only reason i did it was money I mean, I mean, you get to sell them, you get some money, but, um, aside from that, we had, <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice right there, aside from that, we had a frog jump contest, right, they had a bunch of contests, watermelon eating contest, frog jump contest, uh, pizza eating contest, frozen t-shirt contest, all that stuff, egg toss, water balloon toss, all that stuff, but, um, frog jump contest is what we, favorite thing every year you know and so one year we would always go out there was a pond that we would go to and catch a bunch of frogs right we would get all kinds of frogs put them in this cooler and take them the next day to the fair and all the all the kids there's a whole bunch of little i mean i was a little kid at this time but they would all use our frogs no one would bring their own frogs we would always have frogs and it was pretty cool you know one year i had so I, I won, right? So I had my championship frog, right? I was carrying him around. I was, I was probably 10, 9 or 10. I was carrying around my championship frog. I was like, yeah, yeah. At this point, I was in the Clover Buds, which is 4-H for the younger kids. And I had a chicken. That I was showing a chicken. I hate chickens, first of all. I hate, uh, birds in general, I just stay away. You know, but I had a chicken, right? So we were, we were playing with the frogs, right? We were making them jump. Like, hey, bro, you want to come check out how far my frog can jump? But he can jump farther than yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So, um, I, I was jumping my frog around and he got away, right? So he started jumping. I was chasing after him, right? Um, I had a white t-shirt. I had just finished showing. I had a white collar, nice t-shirt on. Right, khaki pants, okay, and we were in the we're under a tent with all the chickens and rabbits and all the animals, right? And it would, had just rained; it was muddy. My frog had ran away, right? He jumped into the pen with my chicken. So I like I dove after him, right? My white shirt, khaki pants. I dove through. The chicken poop, all the mud, go right head first through it, got myself completely, like, I was brown afterwards from all the mud and poop. And my chicken ate my frog. And it made me really sad. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. But, uh, yeah, I got in pretty big trouble for that. Because I was, like, covered and we had to throw the shirt away because there was no cleaning that shirt. But um, I was covered. And one thing we used to always do was kiss. We would kiss frogs. <coughs> kiss the frogs, you know. Make other people kiss the frogs. So we'd be like, hey, hey, pretend to kiss this frog and then take a picture. <coughs> you know. That was pretty fun. But the watermelon eating contest was a different breed of contest that was high stakes stuff right there bragging rights to the max um one of my friends was like over the top about it right <laughs> you know i'm just over here. 
Ham yum 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 yum. Ham yum yum yum. You know, just eating eating watermelon, really. Free watermelon, <laughs> I'll take it. But um but he did like go full sweat, full try hard at the watermelon eating contest. But um and he would just he wouldn't even eat the watermelon. He take like two bites and and he'd be done with the watermelon. Uh, so it take another piece. <laughs> You know, it's pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting, actually. But he always won. He was always like, yeah, I'm the coolest. And I'm like, dude, I just wanted a free piece of watermelon. You know, I mean, I just take a free piece of watermelon. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I think that's going to be it for a day. I, I didn't have a plan for this at all. Um, I just, I was mad. I wanted to I wanted to say stuff I said at the beginning cuz just get it off my chest just tell someone and I mean even if no one watches it's still I mean it's kind of like a, like a diary for me you know just, just say it all get it all out and um so thanks thanks for listening I mean if you did thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it I know it wasn't you know a typical video it wasn't high quality video or anything like that but it was it's i have a rough day day now i gotta go well i gotta go eat lunch edit this video post it make a thumbnail all that jazzy stuff and then i gotta read that book oh it's such a bad book such a bad book probably like the third worst book i've ever read maybe second maybe number two it's probably number two yeah, I'd say it's the second worst book I've ever read. So bad. Like, it's The Great Gatsby. Uh, we have to read The Great Gatsby. And we have to write a paper on it by Friday. I haven't even finished the book. So I definitely haven't started a paper. But, and it is so bad. Like, uh, I wasn't going to read it. And then I was like, I'll read it. And now I'm like, all the way in, and I'm, like, I only have, like, 30 pages left, so, which will still take me, like, an hour to read, because you know how you read, and then you, like, zone out, and then you're, like, uh, what, huh? Oh, I just read, like, five pages and have no idea what happened during those pages. Like, I do that all the time, but, so, I better go get to work on that, so. But, the book, I was I was gonna say how bad the book was and why it was so bad and I got, but um it's a uh, I'm a like a hundred and fifty pages in right, and nothing has happened. Literally, literally one thing has happened, and it just happened. This girl got run over by a car and died. That's literally pretty much it. And like two people are cheating on each other. It's like, yeah, I mean if you've read it, you know how bad it is, and if you like it. Get, 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 get out! Don't talk to me. Could. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.